Fireworks can be a fun way to celebrate the 4th of July, but they can also be dangerous, something we're all way too familiar with here at Broadcast House. But that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy them. It just means you need to be careful. So join me this morning to share some uh, tips for how to have a safe celebration is Dr. Mark Berkowitz from the Vision Institute of Michigan. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the safety that needs to surround fireworks. Uh, is it something that you're able to prevent from having injuries? You can prevent. I mean, more people are likely to wear safety glasses to use chemicals around the house than for using fireworks. Mm -hmm. And so it's something that's so simple as wearing safety glasses if you're going to use fireworks. Uh, mostly, leave it to the professionals. Mm -hmm. And then what are the most common injuries that you usually see um, with fireworks? Yeah, I mean, in 2013, there were 11,000 injuries from fireworks. Mm -hmm one-sixth of them had to do with the eyes alone. Okay. And so retinal detachments, burns, tears uh, to the eyelids as well, some terrible things that can occur around the eyes. So obviously the eyes are something that you need to always uh, be cautious with. And as simple as just putting on those goggles, that can help out tremendously. Yeah. Um, what other tips do you have for people when it comes to handling the fireworks? So first of all, if you see a firework that has not exploded, stay away from it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people are more likely to allow their kids to play with sparklers or with fireworks than to allow them to light their own candle at their birthday. Okay. And sparklers actually have tremendous heat and create damage, so don't give your kids sparklers, stay okay. away from them. And, and that's something that, I mean, I know as a kid growing up, it was like, I was probably three years old handling a sparkler, but yeah, it's not always, it's not the safest thing to do, kind of leave it for the adults. Now, what, what should somebody do if you do encounter an injury, you think you have an injury. So if there's an injury, your reaction is usually to bring your hands to your eyes. It's actually the worst thing that you can do. Oh, you, you want that to, reaction you, of, Yeah, okay. you, you don't want to touch the eye. You don't want to put water by the eye as well. Uh, you don't, if there is a foreign body by the eye, you don't want to pull it out or push oh. it in. You want to just call for Leave medical it. attention. Okay, so just kind of stay put, call for some help, call mm -hmm. 911 and then just wait. Yeah, I mean, that's such good advice because I know that if something had happened, your initial reaction is to go for water and want to cover your face with your hands, but try not to do that. What, um, any other last tips that you'd like to give to people? Well, first of all, for, you know, talking to your kids, sometimes it's difficult. Parents are afraid to tell their kids not to use it. You can go to the American Academy of Ophthalmology website and there's a great video for kids to watch that explains okay. why they should stay away from the fireworks as well. You can also go to vimichigan.com for more information. Wonderful. Dr. Berkowitz, I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so Thank much. You. Make sure you check out those websites before celebrating the 4th of July this weekend.